Welcome back to PTL, everyone. Well, I am standing here at the City County Building right in downtown, where actually we are surrounded by a gingerbread wonderland because it is time for their gingerbread competition. And of course, it's on display for everyone starting tomorrow. But I'm here with Melissa. And Melissa, this is something that is so special. And why do you guys do this? We've been doing it for 21 years. We took it uh, over from PPG Place and Families just love doing it, students love doing it as art projects, and it's just become a, a big Pittsburgh tradition. And I know that there's a variety of categories, so it's not just for, let's say, little kids or even a super, you know, fancy artists. No, not at all. We have 19 different categories, um, and out of those 19 categories, we have almost 250 houses here, um, anywhere from under uh, the age of five all the way up to adults, professionals, um, all sorts of ages. Nonprofits are here as well. So, well, as we had been walking around, we have seen so many fun, you know, creative, uh, amazing designs, and I know that I have actually chosen three, or I've I've given three category, you know, categories that we're going to point out. And I have to say, my number one for most Pittsburgh has to be this one right here. It is Just Desserts by Joyce Geisler. I hope I said her name right. But I mean, come on. How could that, like, not scream Pittsburgh to you with the ketchup and the bridge? And I mean, and all of that's made out of gingerbread, right, Melissa? Yeah, it sure is. A little bit of frosting on top, but um, most of these are all based on gingerbread. Well, I think it's also cool that yesterday on Talk Pittsburgh, we had the Gallagher family who, I mean, it's amazing how, I think you said they've been doing it for many, many years here in the show. And yes. we we actually found one of them. I mean, look at this detail. So tell us about this one. Yeah, they've been doing them for about seven years now and they just get more detailed and bigger and better each year, the family house that they do. And um, this one's a little Pittsburgh themed as well with the skyline, um, some sports teams hats in the background there. Um, yeah, they really, they really get into it, and it was a fun segment yesterday. I am obsessed with all the detail. Even on the back, it's a little hard to see, but there's a terrible towel. It says Yins. I mean, that's also very Pittsburgh. But I wanted to head over here because I know that my second thing when I was doing this scavenger hunt was most candy-licious. And, Melissa, we came across this, and you were telling me something so fun about this particular one. It is, you know, kind of a haunted, scary one, but tell us about that one. Yeah, we see a lot of Halloween candy come in. I mean, it's pretty close to, you know, leftover candy time. Um, so we see a lot of it. Um, and that one is just a nice conglomeration of all of it. So it's one of those things where if you have leftover candy, I mean, sitting around, all you got to do is get some gingerbread and then you could be a part of this, you know, amazing, amazing display. Well, I know, again, whenever I was walking through all of these, I saw one that was really special to me. There's one that actually the Filipino Association did, um, and you were saying something about it because it smelled so fragrant that it, there's actually coffee grounds. Yeah, it smells like coffee grounds on the bottom of it. Um, can't say I've ever had seen that one before, um, but it was very unique. Yeah, it is so unique because even though it's made out of gingerbread, I mean, it is basically replicating some of the, the huts and homes in um, the Philippines, which is pretty, pretty cool. All right, now I think for our final one that I picked personally because it was, you know, Daisy's Delights, we'll call it. Um, there's been a lot of themes, like the Taylor Swift one we saw, we saw of Swiftsburg with the, the Heinz, or I'm sorry, Akershire uh, Stadium back there. Um, but we saw also a lot of Barbie. And this, to me, is just so incredibly detailed. And tell us about this group that did this. Yeah, we saw a lot of Barbie dream houses this year. Um, this particular one was done by uh, the Pathfinder School, um, a group of middle schoolers. Um, I mean, you can see the detail, look at that. It's pretty impressive. Um, pretty accurate to what you saw in the movie, I think. I mean, even behind it, Jeff, you gotta get a picture of this real quick. It even has the slide and the pool in the back of the Barbie house. They've got fake fruit. They've got, you know, the mirror. They even have all this detail on the pillows. I think this is so amazing, but regardless, guys, you have to come out and check this out. And I think you said it opens technically to the public tomorrow, but then there's a special display for light up night. Yeah, we'll be opening tomorrow at 11.30 with a short ceremony. Um, and then, of course, on Saturday, we have our tree lighting ceremony as part of Light Up Night here in downtown. And the display will be open through then, too. Well, I, I'm just saying, not only does it look amazing, it smells amazing in here, too. It definitely puts you in the, the holiday spirit. All of you have to come and check it out. And David and Heather, have you seen one that maybe was your favorite? 
You know what? I like the Acroshore Stadium one. I really thought that was impressive. The Barbie house, though. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're not allowed to eat them, right? You can't eat them. <laughs> I wish. I wish we could eat them, but they'll be here for what, seven no. weeks? Yeah. 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 No, I That's wouldn't suggest frowned it. upon. No. They're too beautiful to eat. All right. Thanks, Daisy. That's one of the things I learned, actually, is the dough that they use and the icing that they use. It's not you even. Would not want, it's you not would edible. Not, it is almost just made to construct, not. Oh, so eat. it's like a different type of gingerbread that's yep. like heavy duty to build. <laughs> All right, well, it's hard to believe this competition has been going on 21 years. As Daisy mentioned, the public is welcome starting tomorrow, and the houses will be on display through early January.